I've started with uh, a sketch I've got two lines and I'm actually going to contour flange that just using my default settings let's actually take this and let's extrude this let's say six inches so you might be thinking well I came here to watch a video about the contour roll and you're showing me contour flange is what's going on well this is just gonna be my starting point now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a sketch on this end face here and it's actually gonna project you know, maybe more geometry that I wanted, but that's okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna project some additional geometry here. And I'm gonna pick there, stick there, stick there. And there's my starting geometry. Well, next what I wanna do is I wanna create a center line to um, create my contour flange about. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a center line here out in space. And I am actually going to make that into a center line. Not that I have to, but it just, it's, it, you know, clearly identifies what it is um, and it also will um, again make it easier to kind of go and select that. Okay so now I got my center line here and let's actually just move it down a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the contour roll feature and it's automatically selected the only profile that was available. I mean there's no other sketches and there's only one loop in there. So what it's doing now is it's using that and rolling that feature around there. So it's it's doing a revolve but it's doing a revolve in the sense that it, it's rolling it. It's, it's honoring my sheet metal um, properties and it's, um, or sorry, my sheet metal styles and it's creating a shape that can actually be flattened out. So right now what it's using, as you can see here, it's using the centroid cylinder and you can see the, the neutral radius and the unrolled length that it's creating. Now this is all based on where that center line is. It's also based on this roll angle. So if I was to make this 120 degrees, we can see it's actually going to roll it past being 90 degrees and not to change the, the options here. I can change this from centroid cylinder to custom cylinder where I actually pick a, a neutral axis. I can come in here and pick a developed length so I can actually specify what I want that to be. And then you can see a neutral radius option is going to create it. So there's four options to go in there and actually create and specify um, that shape for me. So in this case, what I really want is I just want the centroid cylinder. So it's, it's built it the way I want. I'm going to click OK. And what it's done is gone through and rolled that shape for me. Now maybe what we'd like to do is create another sketch here. So we're going to create a sketch on that face there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to project these edges. So that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a contour flange again. Pick that sketch. And we want to extrude that. And we want to extrude that. So we're going to extrude it the six inches. I'm going to click OK. And we can see the shape that I've created. OK, so let's go to our create flat pattern. And you can see that it took that and rolled that out, flattened it out for me um, based on my styles to give me that, that shape. So again, it's, it's kind of a neat tool that you can use to create um, these different types of shapes, but the power comes in that it honors your sheet metal settings. It honors that it actually has to be able to be built out of, out of metal um, and you get a you know, unfolded part that you can use to create your, your flat pattern and what you're going to use to bend and fold the shape.